windy spot. We're at the Lobster Cove Lighthouse. Pretty sweet view. campsite that I checked out I didn't like at all so I'm going to uh, I guess head to the tablelands now. Don't have much of a choice. Alright so we are in Gross Morn Provincial Park uh, at Lobster uh, Lobster Cove Lighthouse was in the park as well. We're stopping here. It's called the Southeast Falls. The Doozer and I break from the van for a bit, go for a nice walk. Doozy. We are now at the Tablelands. You guys can hear me through the wind. Uh, all this uh, red rock here is supposed to be really heavy. It's called peridotite. It's dense with iron, magnesium, nickel, cobalt, and chromium. This rock is poisonous to very many plants. Apparently part of the Earth's mantle. Nice little waterfall at the end of the trail, if you can hear me. outside of St. John's, Newfoundland. We are at Cape Spear, which is, is uh, where it's the most eastern point in all of North America. It's the end of the road, can't go any further than this. Uh, I'm having car problems again. The transmission was slipping on me on the way here. I was going to stop at a bunch of places in between here and St. John's, but I kind of had to book it here to uh, <laughs> make sure my car wasn't going to fall apart. And uh, drop it off in a couple days because I'm going to have to get a hotel again. Ah, oh boy. Here we go again. Looks like it's going to rain today, but at least uh, the scenery is beautiful, as always. This was a uh, military fort. Uh, was a big, big ass gun right here. To protect from uh, Europeans way back when. 
cool. Cool little thing I didn't know. Let's see what else there is. So yeah, I guess these are the old bunkers. There's one of the big guns left. Or what's left of it. And then this is called the ready room. Anything in there? No, nothing really in here. It's really uh, quite the view up here for sure. <laughs> wow. Eh? Cloudy, miserable day, but it's still beautiful here. Yeah, that's pretty much it for Cape Spear. I don't know how much video I'm going to have after this. <laughs> Unless you guys want to see hotel life. <laughs> um, yeah, I assume I'm going to be in a hotel for anywhere from three days to a week. Which sucks. But uh, at least I wanted to get out here to the easternmost point of North America. Uh, before I can't travel anymore, just in case. <laughs> You never know. So it was only a five kilometer bike ride from where my hotel down to what they call Jelly Bean Row. Uh, so I just came down here because construction's really bad everywhere around here. So yeah, check this out. They paint their houses all different colors. There's the bike, wrote it down here. And uh, that's pretty well all I came to St. John's for. I usually don't do cities, but this is a pretty cool sight to see. Uh, so we'll see you in a bit. Welcome to hotel life. Well, here I am again. Uh, another three days in the hotel. Uh, ground wire wasn't uh, installed properly on the uh, power control module, so. I had to do that. Hopefully I'll get my money back for this uh, because the last fix was in the same area. But uh, yeah, this isn't bad. It gets boring awfully quick, but at least I had a kitchenette. Had to uh, empty out my whole fridge. I uh, brought my freezer up. I didn't know how long they were going to have the van for. So brought everything up, all my clothes and everything. Got to do laundry. It was actually pretty convenient. The laundry room's right next door. And it's free. Uh, so that was good. I uh, got to do some editing, upload some videos, use the Wi-Fi. Uh, watch a little TV, but that gets boring awfully quick. And uh, I think Mr. Doozer's liking it. And it's okay. <laughs> He's such a weirdo. But anyway, nice having the uh, extra space for a few days. Now I have to haul everything back downstairs again. I've already taken a few things down. I did have my e-bike up here because uh, I took that downtown and uh, so I took that down put it on the rack already. Thank goodness that thing's a big pain. Bringing up and down the elevator. I'm on the top floor of course. But uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we get back on uh, van life tomorrow. Checking out, and where am I going? Well, I think I'm going to go on a uh, whale tour and uh, see the puffins, my spirit animal. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys next week. Oh, Scotty doesn't know, so don't